it is nice to address intellectual people like you because it gives room to ponder deeper as to what life is. Life is intriguing. It has mystified many a man from primitive time to modern time as to what could be life. Everyone tries to figure out some ways to find out the mystical formula for what life could be, how to follow it, how to deal with life. <clears throat> now this has been following man, this thought has been following man and from time to time man has come forth with many concepts of spirituality. I was so deeply surprised that I was invited this evening to talk about spirituality in a business university. So the first question which struck me was, is spirituality separate from business? Or do we have to infuse spirituality into business? Now that's a difficult question to answer because I'm sure when you look around in many parts of the world, spirituality itself is a business. <laughs> it attracts man high and low. Wherever his ego gets intensified and attracted, it follows. Now, if spirituality is a business, how do we infuse spirituality into business? Now, which business would you choose to infuse spirituality? Or could business itself be spiritual? Man needs to ponder. If business is spiritual, which business could be spiritual be? There are so many businesses in this world. There are so many of them. And no matter what business man follows or attempts to follow or succeeds in following and succeeds in business, nevertheless, such a businessman would find that he is not contented every moment of his life. No, it not only really business as business, any form of knowledge never gives contentment to man every moment of his life. No matter what subject he follows, no matter what subject he is proficient, he is always in search for something spiritual. Is it not so? Now, spirituality means many a thing to many a people. For some, a certain set of beliefs is spiritual and for him those beliefs which he accepts become spiritual to him while others remain not spiritual to him. Therefore an acceptance of a belief which is spiritual to a particular man becomes wisdom and spiritual to him. Nobody can dislodge that man from the belief. And every man stands by his beliefs which is spiritual to him. Now which man has got a right to say your spiritual business beliefs are right and yours is wrong? Nobody has got that capacity to say that. This is where man gets lost. But if you observe life, such beliefs of spirituality 
becomes conventional. So conventional beliefs are different to different men. That is why the characteristic feature of the mind is we define ourselves by our differences. Our differences are never the same. There are multitude of differences. And we define ourselves by our differences and our differences become wisdom to us. We follow it day after day after day after day. And nevertheless, one day old age sets in. Death approaches. But nevertheless, man is never content. No matter what belief he follows. It's a catch-22 situation. What does man do? If you observe carefully life, life has brought forth many a mystery into man's life. And those beliefs which man follows becomes conventional to him. It may be in physics, it may be in medicine, it may be in religion, it may be in spirituality, it may, it may be in any arm of science. Those beliefs become conventional to him and those conventional beliefs are the truth to man. Those beliefs which he has accepted, to which he is infatuated, which attracts his ego, that becomes his wisdom. <laughs> there are a variety of cultures and traditions in this world. Now, who can authoritatively say a particular tradition, a particular wisdom, a particular belief is the truth? You cannot. And in no matter in what convention you follow, you would have read to, the truth can never be known. When truth can never be known, why is man following a set of beliefs to be the truth? Man has. Similarly, man has to find out what is his conventional beliefs of business. How could man who is doing business be contented every moment of his life? Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your very excellent words. Uh,